Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and today I will show you how to post Instagram Reels from a social media calendar created in Airtable. Let's get to it. In my previous video, I have shown you how you can post videos from Airtable social media calendar directly to your Instagram account. And you can see that this is a video that was posted on Instagram. There is one important note. When we were posting this video, we were using a module called Instagram for Business Create a Video Post. And there are strict specification what sort of video you can post here. So as you can see, the aspect ratio is actually more of a squarish aspect ratio. So you cannot use this module to post a reel. So you'll be able to post videos that are aspect ratio four by five, but not reels. Reels which, which would be normally aspect ratio of nine by 16. So this is not something that you can do with Integromat. And for the matter of fact, there's not many software pieces that allow that. You can see there is no real upload. This is a feature that has been only recently added to Instagram API. So if you would like to post reels, then we would have to approach this slightly differently. So this is going to be a little bit longer video with a little bit more steps, but it will allow you to post uh, Instagram reels just like the one over here. Okay, so let's start first with the piece of content that we have here. As we shown previously, we have to set it to the state approved. So right now, when we go to the Integromat, which we're using for this uh, this automation, Integromat uh, now rebranded to make.com. Um, now you can see once we run it, we can see that this video is ready to be posted. Okay, so the next step after this will be creating a module like that, but this will be a custom module. It will be make an OAuth request and for this request to, to happen, we need to create a special connection with Facebook APIs. So to create connection with Facebook API, first step will be to create a Facebook application. So we need to go to the developers. And if you have never used this before, you will have to register as a developer. So click on my apps and this will open your application panel where the next step you need to do is to create an app. We will select a business type for the app and you can click next. You can put any name of the application that you would like. So you, let's say IG Reels. And here at the bottom, connect the business manager that is linked to your Instagram account. You have to re-authenticate. And now here we will have to add two products from the list. So you will have to add Facebook login we can ignore that part. In this part, we'll go to the settings. And for the settings, you need to put a valid OAuth redirect URI. This is a URL address that you will find in the description of this video in the article below. So this is redirecting us back to Integromat make.com, which we are using for the automation here. So this is the only step that you need to do here. And then you can click save. This application will remain in the development stage, will not be releasing it, but it will allow us to connect to your own account over here. So now let's go back to the add products. And in the products, we need to add the Instagram graph API. Okay, so this is, this is everything. And now you can go back to the dashboard here. And we will be using the information from, uh, sorry, not dashboard, to the settings. We go to the basic settings and we will be using the basic informations from here to authenticate our app. So now let's go back to make Integromat. All right, so the first here, the first step here will be to add a new OAuth connection. So I am creating a new connection here. You can see authorization call, this remains unchanged. Now the authorized URI will be Facebook slash dialog slash OAuth and this is version 14. This is the latest version at the moment when I'm creating this video. In the future, for sure, this will change as you can see by the number of version. So if it doesn't work for any reason, it makes sense to check whether this is the updated version or 
or whether there has been any other changes to the Facebook API. The next type, the next step is the token URI. So this is the token URI. You also find those links and those uh, data in the description of this video. Now, the next step will be adding the scope for this authentication and the scope items will be adding following. So we will need to add business management so that we have access to that. The next step will be Instagram basic. You also find these data points in the description and you can copy paste them directly. The next step will be the client ID and finally the client secret. Do not share your secret with anyone because this allows access to your Instagram and Facebook account. Um, I will delete this application after the video is done, so it will not be working. Now, once you click save, it will open a dialog to authenticate this Instagram make.com application with Facebook. So click save. You see the application request here. You can click continue. You are probably already logged in into your Facebook account. The next step is confirming the permissions that this app will require. Now we have the connection ready. So now the next step will be just checking whether this whether this thing works. So we'll just write a test URL slash me to see whether Instagram uh, connection is correct. And press on this run once. All right, code 200. And you should be able to see your name and your Facebook ID. OK. All right, now we just need to adjust this request to post our video to Instagram. So instead of this URL, we'll use a URL which will look something like this. So what we need to do here is replace your IG ID by a media. And unfortunately, this is not the ID that you can see. This is ID of the page that we need to find in um, a little bit more complicated way. The best solution I found for, for that is basically to right click and open inspect. And then you can go to the console here. And what you need to type is window dot underscore shared data and then dot config and then dot viewer and press enter. And Bear in mind that this is information about the account that you are logged in. So in my case, I am logged in as this page. That is why I am the viewer. So this is my data and this is how I see my Facebook ID of my page. If you would like to view it as a different page, you would need to re-log in as a different page and copy that information here. There is also one other way to find this ID that I know of using the Graph Explorer inside of Facebook Developer Tool. So you here have to select the application and get a token and then later will show up a menu where you can select it. But in most cases, going into your console and being logged in as the page to which you want to post, this should be enough for you to get the Facebook page ID. So copy that go back to make.com and place it here without the quotation mark. So this is how we set up the URL for this request. We will change the method from get to post. And now we need to add some query string. So let's add a parameter, media type and reels. And then the next parameter, video URL. This will be the URL of the video that we want to post. And next one, caption. And as caption, we'll use our copy and then shift enter and the hashtag underneath. All right. And let's also change here in the advanced settings. One more element oh, it showed up here on the top. Evaluate all states as errors except for 200, 300. Change this to yes. So then if there is an error from this API, we will see it. Let's click OK. And this is unfortunately not everything yet, yet because first it will give us a response which we need to parse. So let's use a JSON parser, JSON parse. You can find it here, add and then JSON and then parse JSON string. What we'll do here, we'll parse the data. OK. And let's just run this part first. Let's see what happens. 
what happens here at the end, we are actually getting something which Instagram calls a container ID. And this container ID will have to publish in the next step. So you can see here, we just um, disassemble this so it's easier to grab by Integromat. And now the next step will be to use again this um, HTTP request module. We can actually clone it. And now we keep everything the same, but we change the URL here to media publish. Also make sure that you keep the evaluate all states as error. Yes, we keep the method as post. Now the query strings will change. So let's remove the old ones and let's add a new one called creation ID, which will be the ID of the container that we have created in the previous step. You can also parse the response here, although I don't know why it doesn't seem to be actually parsing the response and everything else is okay. And now there is one additional step because it takes some time from the moment when the container is created until it's ready to publish. So here we'll put arbitrary sleep. So a bit of a delay in between so that it gives some time for parsing. Let's put 10 seconds for now and let's see what it does. There was an error return because the main video has not uh, finished parsing. So what we can do, we can add either more time or we can do something like this. So let's add error handler and then break and automatically complete the complete execution. Yes. And then number of attempts, if there is an error, we will retry this three times with 15 seconds interval in between. So let's click OK. And for this to work, you also have to allow storing incomplete executions. OK, click Save. Let's try this one more time. And actually, in this case, this video has been processed and we have received the ID immediately. So in this case, the 10 seconds was, was OK, but sometimes it might not be OK. So you might add more time or you might basically keep this one if you are running the scenarios on schedule there will be a repetition that will uh, try to finish this this part here so let's see the result voila and you can see the previous video was posted as a video and this video is posted as a reel you could see the icon over here and indeed it is it is a reel all right let's now add some finished touches so that we also get confirmation that this has been posted live so i'll just quickly do that I am parsing the response to get the ID of the reel that has been posted so that we can save it into Airtable. Status is live. Post ID comes from a JSON element, not JSON24, but JSON26 that we have added, but it's not visible. So we will do a following trick. Let's click OK. Let's see whether this is, oh, this is actually number 29. So it's not visible because it has not been executed yet, but we know that it's there and that it exists. So what we'll do, we'll do copy paste of the variable here. I'll just put this in the address bar and you can see it says 24.id. We'll just change it to 29 and copy paste, go back over here. It shows this without the field because it doesn't know whether it exists, but we know it will be there for sure. Okay, so this is this initial part which will mark the video as completed. So how do we combine this with the rest? Unfortunately, there is no way to tell whether the video that we are posting, whether the content, whether this is a real or whether this is a regular video. So this is something that we will have to decide inside of Integromat, inside of Airtable. So for that specifically, we'll put a different tag here. So we will not call it Instagram, we'll call it Instagram Reel. So now we have an option Instagram Reel and let's make use of this option in the scenario. Let's unlink it here and let's link it back to the router. Let me just out align this. Okay, so here we had only pictures and we'll add additional end rule and here we have channels. So this array here will select operator, which is array operator. You can see array operator contain. We can add case insensitive. 
Okay, let's do the same thing here. Remember to select the array operator. All right, and let's test it. Okay, so it looks like everything went fine. You can see this has been changed to the status live, means the video has been posted. We are also getting the ID of the post that we have created. And let's see whether we have it for the second time. Fantastic, and we have the reel for the second time. I hope this was useful for you guys. You will find more information in the description of this video together with an article. And good luck automating your stuff. Thanks. Thank you.